Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Lost Begotten channel, where, where we are reporting that it may be, in fact, the case that grammar Nazis could have saved us from regular Nazis. Let's see what the details are. Yeah, as I try to pretend to sound like a, a you know, news person. I'm giving up on that. Um, so, how are y'all? Here's a little New York Times clip. Uh, the Daily Show. I'm not the Daily Show. The the Colbert Report. No, the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. With uh. With uh. uh it just cracks me up that that little John's on there. And like of all the people. That could have gone to high school. Same high school I was at. For it to be the kid named John Baptiste. It's just ironic. Okay, sorry. But as much as I love irony, we're going to have to move on to, um, I don't know, I don't know what the hell you call this. I, I guess it might qualify as irony. More like sardony. So, here's the deal. If you haven't read this yet, go ahead and read it. I'll wait. Just kidding. Um, the whole idea was this was a password fish. Okay, like when they when they send you an email and ask you for your password. So the intern or whatever send it to somebody to ask if they should, you know, do what the email says. And this was the reply. And they had meant to say that it was illegitimate. But if only people knew how to use proper grammar, it would have read, this is an legitimate email. Now, unless you are a Welsh person, you should know that if someone types an and then the following word starts with a consonant. Something is askew. So it would be an illegitimate email. Or a legitimate email. Or, if you're from Wales, it would be an email. And the adjective would not mean anything. So you would still actually say, this is an legitimate email. So... Either they should have used proper grammar, or the reader was Jeremy Clarkson. 